Are you ready to get an astrologer's take on the best astrology of 2024? Well, get comfortable because that's what this video is all about. Hi, my name is Maria De Simone. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you who are back, welcome back. It's great to have you here. As you may know, I am a professional astrologer. You can find out more about me and my work over at InsightfulAstrology.com. And that is the place where you can get a uh, registration to any of my classes where you can sign up for a consultation. And of course, be sure to check out your 2024 special year ahead forecasts. If you haven't already, you, they are available for purchase over on my website and you will find out more specifically how these alignments are going to affect your world, looking at them through the lens of your sun sign and your rising sign. So without further ado, I am going to talk to you guys about my personal top five astrology cycles of 2024, and I'm going to tell you why they impress me so much. We're going to start, of course, with Pluto. On January 20th, Pluto, the planet of empowerment, the planet of regeneration and change, will enter Aquarius for the most part full time. So in 2024, we can anticipate getting really comfortable with what Pluto and Aquarius has in store for us. The only exception to this is that from September 1st until November 18th, Pluto will dip back into Capricorn for the final last licks of it being in that sign, and then will be in Aquarius full, full time for the 20, 20 years. But the reason why Pluto going into Aquarius is my number one pick. It might surprise you, okay? Here's why. We do not grow without tension. And Pluto transits can be some of the most difficult crisis-inducing transits that we ever experience, where there are major breakdowns in an area of our life. But in order to achieve a breakthrough, we have to go through a breakdown sometimes. And there are some of us who are going to experience a difficult Pluto transit in our birth charts as Pluto enters Aquarius, while there are others who are going to experience a very supportive aspect of Pluto to a, a planet in your birth chart. Without looking at your personal birth chart, I don't know which end of the spectrum you're falling on in 2024, but regardless whether you're going to get a supportive aspect of Pluto or a difficult aspect of Pluto, the reason why Pluto is my number one astrology favorite pick of 2024 is because we all need a different area in our life to concentrate our energies of metamorphosis on. There, It, it feels good to know that there's going to be this new place, this new area in our life where we can take that hammer and break up some patterns where we can dig and get some treasure, find some buried treasure. So I think that's the real reason. It is about being able to focus on a new area of our life where ultimately, even if it's difficult, even if it's challenging, we are going to find the buried treasure. And I am all about that. So that is why Pluto entering Aquarius is my first favorite aspect that's happening in 2024. My number two favorite aspect of 2024 is the grand Jupiter Uranus conjunction that is lining up to occur on April 20th at 21 degrees, 50 minutes of the sign Taurus. And the reason why this is my one of my favorites of, it probably is my absolute favorite actually of 2024 is because when Jupiter and Uranus get together, what is happening? There is going to be a sudden breakthrough, a sudden windfall, a sudden opportunity, a sudden leap of faith, a sudden turn of events in our favor for the most part that will occur in your Taurus house, wherever that particular conjunction is falling and whatever it's attaching itself to in your birth chart. But in general, this is the big break in astrology. And 
even though Pluto and Aquarius may be causing big breakdowns that will ultimately lead to breakthroughs in certain areas of our lives, this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction is an immediate, instant breakthrough. It is like, whoa, there's the light. And we know that when Uranus, the planet of liberation and innovation, and sudden turns of events connects to Jupiter, the planet of expansion, abundance, faith, the breakthrough tends to be positive. And this is called the lottery aspect in astrology for good reason. We are going to feel like we are winning the lottery suddenly out of the blue in a certain area of our life. For some of us, it is financial, but that's not everybody. Make sure you watch my video that I did on the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. I did a whole video on this and I went through what it means for you by sign and what it means for you if it's connecting to one of your planets. So I will try to remember to link that video here somewhere, either in the description box or at the top. But that's my number two favorite energy of 2024. Number three on my list of favorite astrology aspects of 2024 is Jupiter at the very final degree of Taurus. What Jupiter is going to do is engage in an extremely supportive sextile to the planet Neptune. And this will occur on May 23rd at literally 29 degrees of Taurus and 29 degrees of Pisces. So Jupiter and Uranus would have happened a month before. And that is already this big break, this big breakthrough, this big opportunity, sudden windfall, right? But you have to realize that Jupiter in Taurus, as she goes through the end of Taurus, is bringing us incredible blessings back to back. And Jupiter sextile Neptune, even though the sextile is not as potent as a conjunction or a trine, the sextile is a small window of opportunity that we can take advantage of that leads to success. I always describe the sextile aspect to my students when I explain it to them as I teach my aspects class. I, I, am, I tell my students to imagine that they are on the second floor of a home and looking out into the backyard. And there is a beautiful cherry tree in the backyard, ripe, filled with cherries that are juicy and ready to be eaten. And the window that you're looking out of on that second floor is directly in, in the, the cherry tree is directly in front of you. So the only thing that you need to do in order to grab those cherries and shove them in your mouth and enjoy the juiciness of them is open the window. And that's what a sextile aspect is. A sextile aspect says you are guaranteed success. You are guaranteed pleasure, enjoyment, and something positive when you do thus the least minimal amount of effort required. Something as easy as opening the window and putting your hand out there and grabbing those cherries that are there waiting for you, okay? So this aspect of Jupiter sextile Neptune is going to feel like that, but it is, for many of us, it's going to be financial because as Jupiter leaves the sign of Taurus, there's financial blessings for a lot of us, but this can also be about spiritual growth. A beautiful spiritual growth opportunity is available for all of us. It's like a psychic download that is happening around this time period, easily available for all of us. All you have to do is tune in. And I love Jupiter-Neptune contact. So Jupiter-Neptune in financial astrology is known as the millionaire's aspect. If you have it in your birth chart in any combination, you have a stronger capacity to have financial blessings. Why? Because you have a sense of certainty about your financial fulfillment. Neptune and Jupiter together is an unwavering faith. It is idealism for sure, but it is an unwavering faith that is not a blind faith. It is not a naive, foolish faith when it is the sextile or when it is the trine or even the conjunction. This is a certainty. This is faith that is certainty. And because you are certain that something is going to happen, it already has happened. It's reality. It, and so it is. And that's why I love this little nugget of beauty that Jupiter will give us as she leaves Taurus and engages in that perfect sextile to Neptune on May 23rd. 
And then as Jupiter enters Gemini, we have yet another blessing. And this other blessing is my number four favorite astrology aspect of 2024. Once Jupiter is in Gemini, Jupiter will immediately engage in a perfect trine to Pluto in Aquarius. And this happens on June 2nd. That trine is just as delicious as the Jupiter-Neptune sextile, but in a different way because you are guaranteed something gorgeous without even having to do anything at all. A trine is like breathing. You do it automatically. You don't think about it, but you get the reward. The reward is that you're alive. <laughs> okay. Well, Jupiter in Gemini now making this trine to Pluto and Aquarius is going to bring us a very significant blessing in whatever house our Gemini, uh, Jupiter and Gemini falls and Pluto and Aquarius falls. So you're going to combine that energy to see where this empowered blessing is. So when Jupiter and Pluto get together in financial astrology, it is known as the billionaire's aspect. Why? Because there is extraordinary power and intensity and the grandest possible scale given to profit and financial blessings when it attaches to Jupiter. So obviously there are only a few thousand billionaires in the world and people who have a Jupiter aspect with Pluto in their natal chart, you all can't be billionaires. But what it does do is it gives you an intensified faith in your power to move mountains, to make things happen. And so with Jupiter trying Pluto for all of us on June 2nd, we are going to feel this incredibly empowered moment that we can use to our advantage to make something happen that is absolutely magical. So understand that Jupiter is giving you this huge run from April to June, blessing after blessing. But Jupiter trying Pluto is truly the very best that you can get of Jupiter to the most magnified degree possible. Think of it as that, that statement that Buzz Lightyear made to infinity and beyond. That's what happened when Jupiter is trying Pluto. It is to infinity and beyond the amount of blessings and intense energy and intense positive fulfillment that you can experience. And that's why Jupiter trying Pluto is my number four top pick. My number five top pick for astrology aspects in 2024 is the fact that in all of 2024, we are having the North Node move through Aries and the South Node move through Libra. And there are going to be two eclipses that connect to this in particular that are really very special blessed and are going to give us the best blessings and karmic experiences and lessons that we're meant to learn as the North Node is in Libra and the South Node is, as the North Node is in Aries, I apologize, and the South Node is in Libra. So what is this? Well, as the North Node continues to move through Lib to Aries, and this began in July of 2023 and will continue until January of 2025, the North Node is the point that we're all supposed to be growing towards. It is the destiny we're supposed to embrace, right? The South Node is what we're familiar with and what can be overused and what needs to be rebalanced in order to achieve our North Node destiny. With the North Node in Aries, we are all being called in 2024 to consciously focus on the development of our self, our identity, our independence, our courage, our pioneering spirit, our authenticity. And I love that for everybody. It is not about giving up relationships with the South Node being in Libra in order to facilitate your personal development. It is rebalancing relationships, the importance of a particular relationship, putting it in its proper place. It is letting go of any toxic relationship that maybe has unhealthy codependent patterns or patterns that are holding you back from your individuation. And so that is another theme with the North Node in Aries and the South Node in Libra. But this beautiful balancing act is going to be super well supported in 2024 with two eclipses in particular. The eclipse on March 25th, which is a lunar eclipse at five degrees Libra. And then on April 8th, the solar eclipse in Aries at about 19 degrees. Why? Because both of these eclipses are 
beautifully aspected in the sky. I will talk more about these eclipses as it gets closer to them happening so that you can really understand them, but we'll break them down and navigate them. But overall, these eclipses are bringing fulfillment and new beginnings possible in our identity, in our personal development. So fulfillment in relationships, knowing that there is a connection that really is blessed and supportive of us and who we truly are with the March 25th eclipse. And then the April 8th solar eclipse in Aries is all about us being able to initiate something incredibly powerful and dynamic and positive that is connected to our personal growth and the direction that we are all supposed to be moving towards in our life at that time. So these are my favorite astrology aspects that are happening in 2024. Let me know in the comments what your favorite aspects are and let me know how these particular aspects are lining up in your chart in your life and how they provide you with incredible blessings and opportunity for change and growth. Have a great 2024, everybody. I know I will.